Saint Didier, a quiet little Provencal village, has its picturesque views, its churches, its chateau, its ochre houses and its fountains with flowing cool water. As in the olden days, they still make nougat in the traditional way. This confection dates from the grandparents of the Sylvan brothers who were born on this farm. Philippe and Pierre Sylvan have planted their own almond trees and have developed the production of nougat. That's what makes us different from other nougat makers. We produce ourselves the almonds, which are essential for our nougat, almonds and honey, and have you bees. Here we have 150 hives which allows us with our 2,000 almond trees to produce nearly 10 tons of nougat a year. And what is the difference between the two types of nougat, the white and the black? The difference between the white and the black nougat is essentially the way of working the honey. With white nougat, it's stirred very gently for three hours in a bain-marie. And with black nougat, it's cooked very quickly, so it's caramelized and the honey is darker. We are particularly attached to black nougat because we remember our childhood and Christmas Eve with its 13 desserts and the memory of grandmother making her nougat and we were allowed to pick up the little bits. <laughs> and that's for Christmas. It's a Provencal tradition for Christmas. We work as a family. We are six people, my mother, my wife, my sister-in-law, my brother for making the nougat and selling it. And then we hope. The next generation. The next generation. <laughs> All the ingredients come from here. The honey and the almonds. Not the sugar, because it's cane sugar. <laughs> Is the temperature secret? Yes, that's what gives a good balance to the nougat. When you eat nougat, your teeth fall out. That's not good nougat, that's not well done. And that's orange and cognac. There, a little bit more. It's an old Provencal tradition. It's eaten at supper on Christmas Eve, just before midnight mass, where they have 13 desserts. And in those 13 desserts, there's black nougat. And the black is made before. In years gone by in Provence, there were lots of almond trees. People picked a few almonds, they had a high for the honey. It was very simple to cook the honey with almonds. Each family made their own nougat. So we improved a little on the recipe of our grandmother. We added a bit of sugar because grandmother's nougat was made for Christmas. And afterwards, because there was a lot of honey, it began to run. It was necessary to keep it for a long time in a stable state. The almonds and then the honey from here, honey from flowers, honey from the shrubland, honey from rosemary. Another member of the family, my sister-in-law. The black nougat is a bit special because it goes off very quickly. The more it cools, the more you have to work. It's for that reason. The 
Is this paper edible? It's communion wafer. Good. It's the best. Pierre, passionate about bees since he was a boy, looks after the hives. These hives are for the honey for the nougat, yes, and you look after them. It's me who looks after the hives, over 200 of them. 200? 200 hives. And at the moment they're making honey from spring flowers. It's honey that is dark and used for making black nougat. It's specially for black nougat. The honey is harvested around the 20th of June, and it's the honey of flowers, all flowers, and it is dark. After the 20th of June, the hives are transported to the Luberon, into the lavender fields. From there we make lavender honey, which is used for making white nougat. It is a honey which is very clear, very perfumed, and used for white nougat.